Hi, this is Charles Kirkwood, Director of Wine and Spirits for SaratogaWine.com, and today we are honored to be joined by Dirk Richter of Weingut Max Ferdinand Richter. Great wine. Better prices. Delivered right to your door. SaratogaWine.com. Happy to be here and to introduce our estate and wines. Mm -hmm. I'm the ninth generation winemaker of the estate that has been set up as an export company in mm -hmm. 1680. And uh, we have been shipping wine to the US since the 1830s, as far as my records go back. And uh, it's a privilege to have the chance to introduce Riesling wines from the Mosel. That's where I come from, the oldest German wine growing area, set up by the Roman conquerors, Julius Caesar, yeah, 50 before Jesus Christ. And the Mosel is the oldest German wine growing area. And we grow Riesling, Riesling, Riesling. And I would like to introduce three different wines from our estate, uh, just uh, also to take away the misconcept that Riesling is sweet. Yeah. And the first wine I put in the glass is a dry Riesling from the vintage 2021. Now, that bottle is a dry Riesling from 50 old wines, Riesling Classic. Classic mm. stands for dry style wine. And it's driven by slate stone oh, minerals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the Mosel, that the trilogy of slate stone, Devonian slate stone, the grape variety, and the microclimate. We grow grapes on the 50th parallel, a little bit further north than you live here. And subsequently, we take profit from the fact that being further north, that we got longer daylight in the summer and in the fall season, which enables us to have a long hang time. The longer the hang time, the more refined the acidity. And Riesling is focused by tartaric acid, the acidity. It's from our estate fruit, right in the middle Mosel. And um, we have introduced that style of wine since 2000 and uh, found a great following. And the wine that goes perfectly well with all kinds of dishes. It's refreshing, it's spicy, it's lively, and that with an alcohol of 11.5%. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great, it's, it's dry, it, that, you know, that minerality just, just coats the palate. Yeah. It's just, you know, just very clean and fresh and focused. It's beautiful. So the next one is the Riesling Cabinet from one of our single vineyards. Now we get a little bit longer wording on the label. It's Elisenberg Riesling Cabinet. And there's an easy guess how to identify the quality of a German wine. The longer the words on the label, the more important the wine. Yeah, the shorter, the less important, the longer, the more important. Because that's typical Germanic engineering. And that is being shown on the wine bottle as well. So this is now the first entry of the Predikat scene, the Cabinet. The Cabinet is a light style wine that goes every hour in the day. I, usually I say the third bottle tastes better than the second. And um, this is from our vineyard in the Oxbow Valley where I live in uh, Mülheim. And um, that has a unique, a unique history. The vineyard was planted by my great-great-grandfather in 1814 or 1815, right after Napoleon Wars. That, that is very spicy, it's very elegant, and uh, in the Oxbow Valley, that vineyard has a special exposure. It's situated a little bit higher than the vineyards, right on the river Moselle, and subsequently enjoys a longer ripening season. Yeah, we get longer daylight and um, we, we leave the grapes longer on the wine and uh, generally we pick the grapes in November. Yeah? And that gives delicacy, liveliness and due to the terroir, which is gray slate with a lot of uh, quartz included, we get flavor that remind you of wild berries. Yeah? 
gooseberry, white currant, red currant, red vineyard peach, and elegant wine to go with all kind of dishes, yeah? particularly with East Asian dishes, where you have spicy dishes, Japanese food, Korean food, Chinese, Thai food. That's all the battlefield for Riesling cabinet as a lifestyle wine. Mm -hmm. Twenty one vintage at the classic is very spicy. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, very spicy. We had a lot of rain last year in the summer. I wish we would have a, a fraction of that rain this year, <laughs> but last year we had enough rain and subsequently the roots were able to bring a lot of minerality into the into the berries. Mm -hmm. And it's driven by a wonderful spicy tartaric acidity. Yeah. And these wines age wonderfully. Mm -hmm. To prove that I have chosen a third wine, a late harvest wine, mm -hmm. but from the vintage 2019, okay. where we already see a little bit of aging. It's a late harvest wine from the town of Erden on the Mosel. It's 20 kilometers further east where we live from our vineyard Erdner Treppchen. Treppchen, okay. the vineyard in Treppchen translates little staircase. So this is a steep vineyard. And um, when we pick grapes, we usually have three paths through the vineyard. That the classic is coming from the first pass, mm -hmm. then we have a cabinet harvest, and then we have a late harvest. Okay. And uh, that's also combined with Ausle, the selected harvest, and that's all done meticulously by hand because Riesling requires precision. The higher the precision, the higher the quality of the juice. And that's what we follow. And mm -hmm. that's all handwork. So 2019 chose the typical creaminess that you get from such a wine with residual sugar, 9.5%. Okay. But it doesn't taste sweet. Yeah. It tastes fruity. And that brings a, a smile to your face, yeah? because you have the, the, you have the bouquet, the flavors yeah? of peach mm -hmm. and tangerines. But, but once you bring this on, in, in your mouth and swallow back, it, it's framed by acidity and doesn't cloy palate. It has a perfect dry, lingering, mm -hmm. crisp finish. It's very lively. 7.5% alcohol. You don't need to be stuck with no. alcohol to mm -hmm. make the product tasty. And that's a wine I recommend to enjoy as aperitive or to go with pâtés, mm -hmm. yeah? wild boar pâté, duck pâté, foie gras, cheeses, cream cheeses particularly, mm -hmm. even blue cheeses. And orchard fruit cakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of, lot of uh, situations where you can drink the wine. Yeah, they, I mean, there's, there's it obviously has sugar in it, but it is not yeah. not noticeable at all. That acidity, yeah, yeah that it's is all just that, that rounded is texture. Estate, estate grown fruit. Yeah, it's, it's estate riesling, and whatever. You read about Riesling. Riesling is the most noble white wine grape. Yeah, yes, without yeah, uh, blaming growers with other grape varieties, but that kind of differentiation, mm -hmm. that kind of precision, you just can show with Riesling mm -hmm. because it reflects, as no other grape variety, the terroir it's grown. The care you take to to produce the juice mm -hmm. and the minification. To me, Riesling's always just. It's been an emotional experience. Riesling grown on slate is the prime expression of German wine culture. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been great. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dirk. I really appreciate your time sharing this remarkable lineup. Thanks, Charles. really means a lot. Thanks, Charles. If you enjoyed this conversation with Dirk and want to learn more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again soon.